Person. Oh my goodness. Stupid stuff. He's like blaming me for all the stuff going on in our family. This has gone too long. Garrison, who, who I asked to move out of the house probably six months ago, and then he's mad at me that I'm not coming around, and he basically just tried to cut relationship. I love you, Dad, but this is goodbye for Garrison's like, Dad, you're being a hypocrite. You're not coming around. And I about lost him. I'm telling you, he's calling me a hypocrite. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel where we break down the latest drama and news from the world of Sister Wives. If you've been keeping up with the show, you know that Cody Brown's relationship with his kids has been strained for a while now, and the latest comments from his son Garrison have only made things more intense. Fans are not happy with Cody, and they're starting to question whether he's as dedicated to his family as he claims. Cody Brown and Janelle lost their son Garrison Brown in early March this year, and now, they are opening up about their loss. TLC fans heard what the Sister Wives patriarch had to say, and they gave him the side-eye rather than a hot roasting. The reason they did that is because it must be awful to have to bury a child. Cody Brown opens up on Garrison. This week, the Sister Wives patriarch opened up to people about the loss of Garrison Brown. In part, the TLC star said. Cody Brown also talked about how his son loved adventure, and he then annoyed TLC fans by talking about wanting to go and have a beer with Garrison. Recall that alcohol was thought to be a contributing factor in Gary and Brown's death. The Sister Wives star also said, I want him to try and make me laugh because he was kind of that way. Then he noted that his only regret is the lack of time. Sister Wives fans give the TLC star the side eye. On Reddit, not many people felt sorry for the man who was estranged from his son. However, not many of them got down and roasted him because death is a terrible shock. One member of the community wrote, that doesn't mean to say that no Sister Wives fans roasted Cody Brown, but much of it was expressed as puzzlement over what he had said. Here are some of those observations. He is talking about him like he's an old friend from high school where they naturally grew apart and went their separate ways which would be acceptable, but this is your child. The death is a tragedy, the way that Cody interacted with Garrison and Gabi on the show, which was 2022 was very sad. I am never he saying the two things are connected. Depression is complicated. I do hope that they were able to reconcile prior to Garrison's death, though, for Cody and the family's sake. Tragic accident. His son was so troubled that he saw no other way out. It's tragic that Cody treated his children so badly. It's tragic that Cody doesn't seem to realize that his behavior and treatment of the OG wives and their children may have been the straw that broke his son. He doesn't have the self-awareness to realize that he is the problem. What are your thoughts on what Cody Brown said about Garrison Brown? Do you agree that critics could have easily roasted him much harder than they did? Sound off in the comments below, and remember to come back here often for all your Sister Wives news, updates, and spoilers. Sister Wives star reveals yet another split in the family fans are not the only ones with a bone to pick with Sister Wives star Robin Brown, as she became the last Sister Wife standing. Sister Wives star Michael T. Brown, who has been vocal about the upcoming season since the trailer was released, is one of the few adult children with a relationship with Robin and Cody Brown. However, all of this has changed as shown in a comment by a supporter on her Patreon. She has revealed that her ties with Robin have been severed. Michael T and her husband, Tony Padron, had previously tried to keep Cody and Robin involved in their lives and their children's lives as many of her siblings became estranged from her father. However, in August, fans suspected something was wrong with the relationship between Michael T and Tony and Robin and Cody in a Patreon video, where Tony found out that Cody and Robin placed their Flagstaff, Arizona home for sale. Fans became suspicious as Tony and Michael T were the last few people to know. That is quite a shocker, Tony said in a video posted on August 27. That's some pretty wild news that I had no idea about. I can't believe Cody and Robin 
made a move this big and none of us knew. Where are they gonna go? Sister Wives star reveals why she is no longer close with Robin Brown. A commenter on Michael T's Patreon wrote, It means I'm afraid they are lying once again, like they have done so previously. Previously, at least Gwen respected her subscribers enough to say she was not allowed to disclose or comment further due to X reasons. Michael T and Tony seem to lie just like they did about Leon, Christine, etc. In response, she explains why she has severed her ties to Robin. We try very hard to say what we can while respecting our families and relationships, she wrote. We don't lie. To give you some insights, it's true we have always been super supportive of Robin. Yes, lately it may seem as that has changed. There are things that happened during the recent funeral that are the reasons for that. We won't be talking about those events. So, you're not totally wrong. Anyhow, thanks for supporting and watching. Hope this helps a little. As viewers can recall, Michael T's brother and Cody and Janelle Brown's son, Garrison Brown, tragically passed away in March from a gunshot wound to the head. At the time of his death, Garrison was one of the few adult children who was estranged from Cody. Robin did attend the memorial service for Garrison, and there was another private funeral. It is unknown what happened and what she did and it is also unknown which service stimulated the severed ties. Despite having no relationship with Robin, Michael T reveals that she still does speak with her father, who is still involved in her children's lives. I chatted a couple days ago with my dad, but we mainly just talked about Ace, she said. She also addresses the rumors that Cody and Robin are heading for Splitsville, where she said that she would be so unbelievably surprised if they were separating. Honestly, that would be the very last thing I would think would happen, the separation, she said. Sister Wives Cody Brown treated Mary worse off screen. Undeniably, Sister Wives fans are seeing some of the conversations between Mary and Cody Brown teased in previews that will air in season 19. Although the tension between the two has been visible for quite some time, Mary still feels sad for Cody. While it is obvious how Cody blames Mary for the discord in their relationship on camera, how do they interact off-screen? Recently, the Sister Wives patriarch, Cody Brown was accused of his mistreatment of former wife, Mary Brown, off-screen. The gloves are off. In recent previews, Mary and Cody Brown, the gloves are coming off, and they are having difficult heart-to-heart -heart conversations about their more than 30-year marriage coming to a close. Undeniably, the sneak peeks are leading fans to believe Cody wishes he had never taken Mary's hand in marriage. Furthermore, Mary tells a friend that she feels sorry for Cody as he tries to awkwardly justify why they started the plural family. But Mary makes a valid point that Robin was too young when they were kicking off the Brown family. Likewise, as Mary and her friend talk about the plural relationship, the friend notices how Cody has changed. She believes he is going through some kind of midlife crisis. She says, okay, let's be honest, he's always been Cody, but at least he was kinder to you. Additionally, the friend says, I have not seen him try for years. Admittedly, Mary thinks that Cody says many things to push her away. Seemingly, she thinks he doesn't want to deal with the guilt. In like fashion, if she leaves him, he isn't the bad guy, instead he is free from the burden because he didn't walk away. Cody Brown treated Mary worse off-screen. Furthermore, Mary Brown confesses to her friend, you know how he's been acting and things he has been saying for years. Additionally, she says, and we haven't had a relationship for a long time. She goes on to talk about how when they moved to Flagstaff, Cody Brown gave Mary the impression it was a new beginning, but she admits it all went downhill. In a Reddit thread, Sister Wives fans bring up how terrible Cody Brown has been to Mary Brown on camera. First, a thread starts, why is he like this? Furthermore, the user attached a series of photos from season 17 showing Cody walking up and acknowledging Janelle Brown. She said, hi honey, and Cody breezes past Mary and replies, Hi. Then Mary makes an effort to get him to talk to her, 
She says, hey. After that, he says, hi, and laughs. But with the disregard for Mary on the show, people wonder how bad it has to be for Mary off camera. Fans accuse Cody Brown of being worse off camera. After the initial post, someone points out that if Sister Wives viewers see him blowing her off, then it is probably much worse behind the scenes. Correspondingly, someone says, he walked by Mary like she was a ghost. If this is how he treats her in front of the cameras, imagine how terrible it was in real life. The way he walks past Mary without acknowledging or speaking to her is just beyond reprehensible. And he calls her a friend, but another commenter thinks it might be more fun for him to show off for viewers. I almost wonder if he enjoys crapping on her for all the world to see. Didn't one of the kids say that he was worse in real life? Not just to Mary, but overall. Yes, Gwen said her dad was worse off camera on one of her YouTube videos. Fans can't believe Cody Brown. Other fans can't believe how Cody Brown has treated Mary Brown through the years but some people think her tolerance stems from neglect in her childhood. This is how he and other polygamist men put the wives they don't want out to pasture. It's so disgusting. He's such a dick. No matter how any particular viewer might feel about Mary, everyone can acknowledge how hurtful that behavior was toward her. Sad. In their book, they wrote about how Mary was virtually invisible at her childhood church she was attending all her life because she was so painfully shy and introverted. It was only when she started dating Cody was when people noticed her. Cody is cruel and seems to have been this way since Mary's fertility problems started. Tune in for the premiere of Sister Wives Season 19 on TLC on September 15 at 10 slash 9C. Then, stream it later on Max. Do you think that Cody Brown treats Mary Brown worse off camera? Are you ready for the next season of Sister Wives? Drop your comments below. Leon Brown and Audrey Chris meet the Sister Wives star's partner and spouse. Leon Brown fans and Sister Wives fans in general want to know more about their partner. In 2022, Leon married Audrey Chris. At first, they kept their nuptials a secret. Sister Wives had followed the two during their relationship before Liana abruptly vanished from the TLC reality series. Fans obviously want to know more about Leon's spouse, especially with the new season starting up. Sister Wives alum Leon Brown marry partner Audrey Chris. Leon Brown and Audrey Chris met at college. Leon had a crush on Audrey for more than a year before they started dating. Aspects of their love story made their way onto sister wives, particularly Leon's coming out. Though the Mormon church is generally hostile to the LGBTQ community, and, to be fair, to polygamous sex, there was some thematic overlap with Cody's desire for plural marriage rights. As a couple, they've been relatively private. However, Leon and Audrey never seemed eager to put their relationship front and center on sister wives. On social media, yes, they share their love story, their activism, and their day-to-day -day lives. But even before Leon seemingly vanished from sister wives, much of their life together was private. As private as you can be when you're on reality TV and one of you has been since you were 15. What does Leon Brown's partner do? Audrey Chris has their own graphic design Instagram account at Audrey Chris Creative. They use social media to showcase their digital art. Personally, I love their Chapel Roan portrait. Aduri also does work with social media coordination, including for their mother-in-law, Mary Brown. Mary, of course, has Lizzie's Heritage Inn, her bed and breakfast. Audrey works on marketing, branding, and social media management for that business. Audrey Chris is transgender. In December of 2021, Audrey Chris shared that they are transgender. They use they slash them pronouns. Liam came out in June of 2022. They knew that they would face bigotry and backlash in coming out. Anyone who has come out twice knows this better than most. Audrey also describes themselves as a Subaru queer. The Subaru car company has, for decades, 
been popular within the LGBTQ community. At first, by accident. Then, Subaru began to lean into the demographic that was actually buying their vehicles, forging community ties that have lasted for decades. The couple moved to Denver and secretly married. In 2020, Leon and Audrey temporarily moved in with Mary amidst the COVID-19 pandemic's early months. However, they then moved to Denver, Colorado. Leon and Audrey married on October 29, 2022 in secret. This was a private ceremony, one that the world only learned about a year later. Though Audrey and Leon showcased their happy moments on social media, they have not shared wedding pics. Sometimes a wedding day is just for the couple and no one else. Good for them. Cody Brown. Is he actually disgusted by his transgender child? It doesn't take a lot for the editors of this celebrity gossip website to say something negative about Cody Brown. The Sister Wives patriarch has proven himself to be very selfish, quite sexist and generally driven only by his own needs and desires. We frequently applauded Christine, Janelle, and Mary from choosing to walk away from their spiritual unions. But even we find the following report to be difficult to believe. And we sincerely hope it isn't true. According to The Sun, Cody Brown has a serious issue with his daughter Leon's choice to come out and live as a transgender individual, especially in the wake of their pronoun change and gender reassignment surgery. He does not support Leon's transition at all, a source now tells this publication, adding for all to read. He's actually disgusted by it, as terrible as that is. Someone recently told me that I didn't have to have all of my shtukag out in order for me to share myself with the world. They began. So here's me, definitely not having almost any of my shtukag out, to let you know that I am trans. My name is Leon or Leo. I love both, and my pronouns are they slash them, they revealed. Leon went on to say, I remember the first time that I knew I wasn't a girl. I was pretty young, and unfortunately I grew up in a context that was incredibly gendered and restrictive. So I continued to be socialized as a girl and later a woman, they wrote, and here's the thing, I'm finally ready to share my favorite self with the world. And that self is incredibly genderqueer, trans, and unapologetic. Leon said that being queer and trans are definitely some of my favorite parts of myself, but there are so many things that I am learning to love about myself through this process. Here's to me getting to know myself, share myself, and continually evolve to be the person I am, to be my favorite self in all contexts. For her part, Mary has referred online to Leon as her sunshine, and proudly posed with them at Gwendolyn Brown's wedding in July 2023, as you can see above. Conversely, Cody and Leon do not follow each other on Instagram. Moreover, Cody is following numerous accounts that are transphobic and regularly post hate-filled rhetoric about trans people, the famous blogger without a crystal ball wrote back on August 11. We just learned that Leon actually married their partner Audrey, late last year, but we don't know for sure whether Cody attended the ceremony. It sure doesn't sound that way. Cody is telling close friends, this is a new person. I don't know who this person is, but this is not the little girl that I raised, writes the son, emphasizing that Mary does no tea share her ex-spouse's view. Sister wives Robin Brown Christmas text fallout explained, Undeniably, there has been contention in the Sister Wives Brown family for quite some time. While the controversies are still ongoing, one of the big fights was Robin Brown's Christmas thread conflict. Now, Robin's Christmas text that led to the falling out in the family has been explained. Robin Brown gets hurt during the Christmas text. Throughout the years, Sister Wives has highlighted how the Browns love the Christmas holiday. Although there were tough things at times during the holidays, the family seemed to enjoy getting together. However, when CUA-19 hit, the family's tensions were heightened and everything became strained. Sadly, Season 18 Episode 2 brought out a big point of contention in the family. 
First, Logan Brown tried to start a text message thread with the siblings to get an idea of what everyone thought about having a Christmas gift exchange again. However, it spiraled out of control quickly. When Robin got wind of the discussion, she used her communication skills to try to organize a Zoom call, but there were many frustrations from the family. Since she was getting pushback, she gave up but took the issue to heart. Unfortunately, there were too many hurt feelings to have a simple text conversation around the family discussion. However, an impromptu Zoom call was too difficult to organize on the fly with multiple time zones and young kids involved. Now, the Christmas text fallout is finally explained. Robin Brown Christmas text fallout explained. On Reddit, Sister Wives fans discussed the infamous Christmas text that started a rift in the Brown family. What exactly was said in the Christmas gift exchange family group text? Anyone got any info backed by evidence or trusted sources? One fan gives a summary of the Christmas thread drama. From what I recall, the siblings have a group text set up with all of the kids including Robin's kids. A chat started about doing a gift exchange like they did pre-COVID. I think the parents got looped into the conversation and Robin was insisting on having a Zoom call to discuss it, but not everyone could drop what they were doing and hop on Zoom, which I think made Robin assume that the OG 13 kids didn't want her kids participating. Then comments started flying and it blew up unnecessarily, which caused Robin's kids to say, through Logan and Michael T, that they didn't want to participate. That's the cliff notes that I remember. Anyone can jump in to add or correct. Robin Brown feels like the victim. At one point, Robin Brown decidedly gave up on trying to organize a quick Zoom call with the group. Then, she states she is done with this and further adds, it is an effort of futility. She pops off, my kids don't even remember who their siblings are. Which Hunter slams home the point, one video call's not going to help that. Christine Brown Woolley says, it got blown out of proportion that they didn't want to hang out. But it kicked off a storm of jabs back and forth between the siblings. Christine reflects, and then suddenly no one wanted to hang out. And all these hurt feelings about when Robin first came into the family came out. And it's like, oh my gosh. Admittedly, Robin says it became a fight between her kids and the others. Robin says, it was a horrible day. Christine says, I think Robin jumped to conclusions too fast. While Cody Brown said he wasn't choosing sides, Robin felt like, it's just another example of them not wanting to be a family with us. It's been like this from the beginning. After the difficult discussion, Robin and her kids decided it was no longer a safe place for them to have Christmas with the rest of the family. When she took it as a direct attack, then they decided they wouldn't have Christmas as a group. More fans weigh in. While one fan had a good summary of the happenings with Robin Brown and the family, others commented too. Some brought light to why there isn't more information surrounding the incident. One person finds it surprising that someone in the family hasn't capitalized on the opportunity to release the messages. However, another gives details about an agreement among siblings. I'm surprised it hasn't been leaked by now. The kids all agreed that it would not. Source, Gwendolyn's Patreon. No, but we all want to know. What do you think? Do you think that Robin Brown was out of line? Do you think Gwen Brown's statement of the kids agreeing to withhold the information explains why fans don't know more? Are you ready to see the new season of Sister Wives? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Sister Wives Christine Brown's Backyard View to Die For Sister Wives star Christine Brown practically glows after leaving Cody Brown. Fans who follow her on Instagram can't help but notice how much healthier and mentally well she looks after starting her life over with someone new. After leaving Cody, Christine also traded in Flagstaff for a home in Utah. And it seems like her backyard view is simply to die for. In a new Instagram post, fans felt stunned to see just how beautiful her property truly is. Read on to get the scoop and see what everyone is saying about Christine's home. TLC's Christine Brown shows off her garden and stunning mountain views. 
Christine Brown couldn't be happier these days. After marrying David Woolley, she moved back to Utah and decided to throw herself into new hobbies. Lately, she's taken up gardening, and as the fall sets in, she's excitedly showing off the fruits of her labor to her Instagram followers. Good morning. I've been spending some time in the garden, and wow, the tomatoes are thriving. Christine captioned her Instagram post. It's the perfect time to get creative with canning. I'm thinking salsa or maybe even homemade spaghetti sauce. What do you all think? Any favorite canning recipes you swear by? Drop them below. Hashtag garden vibes, hashtag canning season, hashtag fresh from the garden. In the post, she shared images of her bountiful harvest. In the background of several photos, fans could spot the beautiful Utah landscape. Mountains rose tall on the horizon, offering a breathtaking view. Although fans were interested in Christine's garden, plenty more commented on the view from her backyard. Instagram users wrote, This comment is not about the tomatoes, which look amazing, but that view, wow. Christine, you can grow some beautiful vegetables. I can't grow anything, it just dies. Your tomatoes look delicious. That view from your backyard is beautiful. Everything looks so healthy. You must have the perfect climate. Enjoy. Morning. Wow, amazing place and tomatoes. The Sister Wives star encourages Janelle to move on. For quite some time, Sister Wives stars Janelle and Christine Brown have been incredibly close. This season will explore Janelle's life after leaving Cody. And in a new teaser, Christine happily encourages her friend to move out of Flagstaff. In the clip, Janelle's daughter Maddie shares that they're going to look at some property in Montana to build on. Christine is incredibly giddy about the news and speculates at what a great step this could be for Janelle. Sister Wives Janelle Brown gives fans Christmas wish list. Christmas is coming quickly and Sister Wives star Janelle Brown already knows what she wants this year. The TLC star loves engaging with fans on her social media channels, so she decided to share something special she has her eye on. After the year Janelle Brown has had, fans would do anything to see her happy and thriving. Read on to learn more about the gift and see if Janelle will get her Christmas wish. Janelle Brown wants to honor her pets in a sweet way. Sister Wives fans know that Janelle Brown is incredibly passionate about her pets. When Cody Brown demanded she choose between her pets and him, she chose the pets without any hesitation. Now, she's interested in an adorable way to show how much she adores her fur babies. Somebody take my credit card away from me, please. Janelle captioned a photo on her Instagram stories. She attached a photo from her daughter-in-law, Michelle Petty, featuring a very unique sweater. It features a list of her pet's names and adorable faces. Clearly, Janelle wanted one for herself. Hint, please put this on my Christmas wish list, she added. After a rough year, it's incredibly likely that one of Janelle's children will get her the sweater. The holiday season is bound to be challenging this year. This will be the first Christmas since Garrison Brown passed away, and the family could really use some special holiday cheer. Cody Brown believes his ex-wife is trying to punish him. Janelle Brown says she wants an adorable pet-themed sweater for Christmas. But what she really might need is for her ex-husband Cody to leave her alone. In a promo for Sister Wives Season 19, Cody claims Janelle is trying to punish him during their divorce. In a new teaser, Janelle expresses her desire to move away from Flagstaff. Naturally, this didn't sit well with her ex. Even though Cody has three ex-wives, he wants them all nearby for one reason or another. Many fans believe his ego is getting in the way of letting everyone go their separate ways. They know that I suffer from FOMO about my family, fear of missing out, okay. The family patriarch says in a confessional. So anything they can do that excludes me is a punishment to me. At this point, the more space Janelle can get from Cody, the better off she will be. Hopefully, this Christmas will go over much more smoothly than past Christmas celebrations.
Tune into the season 19 premiere this Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on TLC. Don't miss out. Sister wives Cody Brown believes Janelle is punishing him. How? When Sister Wives premiered, Cody Brown marketed himself to the world as a family man. He preached strong family values and the importance of a tight-knit unit. But over the last few years, Sister Wives fans have seen the facade completely crash and burn. After several moves, countless strained relationships, and three ex-wives later, Cody Brown is practically an entirely different person. Season 19 will follow his ex-wives as they find happiness after breaking up with Cody. But can the family patriarch move on to? Cody Brown doesn't want his ex-wives to move away. When Sister Wife Season 19 kicks off this weekend, viewers will see Cody Brown feeling more dejected than ever before. E! News gained access to a new clip ahead of the premiere. And it doesn't seem like Cody is in a great headspace. This season explores Janelle and Mary's journeys after leaving Cody. Since Janelle's children are adults, she's considering leaving Flagstaff for good. There isn't much left for her there, and she wants her own shot at happiness. We're just going to look at property in Montana, Janelle's daughter Maddie shares in the clip. Property to build on. Christine responds positively, delighted at the possibility of Janelle getting away from Cody. Flagstaff no longer feels permanent, and if I had another option, I would probably take it, Janelle shares. The city holds many painful memories for Mary, Janelle, and Christine. Cody and Robin seem to be the only ones happy in Arizona. But naturally, Cody pushes back on the idea. Even though he and his ex-wives are no longer together, he views moving away from Flagstaff as a personal attack. They know that I suffer from FOMO about my family. Fear of missing out, Oak, okay. Cody dramatically states in his confessional. So anything they can do that excludes me is a punishment to me. The family patriarch seems to be in a dark place. Season 19 was filmed around 2022, so these events are far behind real life. However, Cody Brown's headspace doesn't seem to be any better than it was back then. In a new interview, he opened up about the loss of his son, Garrison. I want to go out to dinner again. I want to sit down. I want to have a beer. I want him to try and make me laugh because he was kind of that way. The only regret is just, gosh, I would just do that more often, Cody told P-E-O-P-L-E. -E. The only regret is that you didn't do something. You didn't take more time. Keep following TV shows Ace Online to stay up to date with the latest Sister Wives news and updates. Don't miss out on the Season 19 premiere at 10 p.m. Eastern Time this Sunday night on TLC. Sister Wives Michael T. Brown finally talks, severed ties with Robin. While Sister Wives fans are preparing for the newest season that is less than a week away, they have learned information about Star, Michael T. Brown Padron, and Robin Brown's relationship. Recently, Michael T. finally spoke out on severed ties with her dad, Cody Brown's wife, Robin. Sister Wives is back with a bang. Undeniably, the previews and teasers show that there is drama on the horizon for the Browns. Additionally, Sister Wives Season 19 is promising to show the conflict between Cody Brown and his former sister wives, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown. After three wives made their decision to split by the end of Season 18, now the new season shows them sorting through the logistics of leaving plural marriage. Likewise, his current wife, Robin Brown, is also butting heads with him during the sneak peeks. Previously, Christine Brown Woolley has acknowledged that Michael T. Brown Patron is the bridge between the family. Referring to her being very close to Christine, Cody, and Robin Brown, even during their disputes, Michael T. played the role of Switzerland, being neutral and wanting to help with communication. But Michael T. reveals the quarreling extends past the patriarch and his wives. Furthermore, she talks about how the ties were recently broken between her and Robin. Michael T. Brown Padron finally talks about severed ties with Robin. On Reddit, 
Fans discuss Michael T. Brown Padron talking about Garrison Brown's funeral. First, they say Michael T.'s comments about the funeral. Then add, a patron asked Michael T. why they didn't seem as close to Cody and Robin anymore. This is Michael T.'s response, adding a screenshot of a message from Michael T. But the original poster also comments, do I hate that Robin did something at the funeral to make her biggest supporter amongst the kids feel this way? Yes, do I low-key hope Logan and Slash or Hunter and Slash or Gabe got in Cody's face and told him where to shove it? Also yes. Furthermore, the user says, remember, the photos we saw online were from his National Guard Memorial Service NOT, the actual funeral. There have been no public photos of the funeral, as it should be. Fans give their thoughts. After the initial post, several other fans talk about Michael T. Brown speaking out about Robin Brown. Well, this is extremely upsetting. The horrific thing happened and even the child who was on their side said that Cody and Robin did stuff during the funeral that was not awk. I super hope there was no blaming happening. I have lost a family member this way, and I know it is easy to blame everyone else at the beginning, but that doesn't mean it is fair or acceptable. I'm now rethinking maybe they said something about Janelle? I don't know if even Robin and Cody are cold enough to say something bad about Garrison and his own funeral, but I do think they're cruel enough to say something cruel about Janelle. I could see them saying something sideways about the manner of his death or blame Janelle for it. Maybe both in the same breath. Michael T. Brown isn't spilling all the details. While Michael T. Brown was very vague about what went down at the funeral, you can tell she doesn't condone it. Sadly, some people wonder if Cody Brown said something about Janelle Brown contributing to the tension between Cody and Garrison Brown. I really hope it wasn't something about how Janelle somehow made the relationship between Cody and Garrison bad because that is on Cody, he made bad decisions and kept himself away from his kids. That isn't Janelle's fault, but Cody doesn't know how to take any responsibility. This is what I'm thinking. I happened to see part of the S18 tell alls again this summer, and some of what Cody said had been really wincing ARRD. He really blamed Janelle for the estrangement from the boys, and the tell all was filmed in what? early fall 2023, maybe six months before it happened. Great point. Cody also COST and TLY says a mother's job is to facilitate a relationship between the father and kids, which is crazy. Cody probably said that it was Janelle's fault he wasn't in touch with him in the end. Right. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't turned him against me. Some people consider what would make Michael T. Brown rethink her relationship. More fans weigh in with more ideas of what may have finally made Michael T. Brown rethink her relationship with Robin Brown. I just hate that this is already a painful memory and now Robin has made it worse. You don't want memories of a lying homewrecker mixed in with the memory of your dear brother's funeral. Honestly, I bet she wanted to speak. Fringe crazy people always want to do that sh asterisk t to bring attention to themselves. I would not be surprised if she tried to speak and someone asked her not to so she and Cody left. Perhaps Robin said he wouldn't go to heaven because he took his own life. Ake Mormon teachings about suicide. But depending on the religious issues, saying anything along those lines or was being judgmental on any level would likely have caused serious bad feelings. Robin always had a problem with Janelle's boys. They were a threat to her. She knew that Cody gave them a lot of attention and she didn't like that. She had to keep giving them sh asterisk t to try to make them look bad and to isolate Cody from them. I obviously don't this for sure, but just my opinion. Fans wonder if it was because Robin allowed her kids to skip Garrison Brown's funeral, saying, there's no way Michael T. was awk with Robin's kids not coming to the funeral. Robin claims she wants to support relationships between the kids, yet not a single one of her kids came to the funeral. One of the many things that probably happened, which finally broke in the camel's back. Rob is a helicopter parent who has emotionally crippled her children and brainwashed them. 
she's extremely enmeshed with them and allows them no independence. While I agree they should be able to think and act independently, Rob does not allow that. They don't have the excuse of mom said no. They weren't at the National Guard's memorial a month-ish later, photos were released by the NG of that service. We have no idea about the actual funeral. Since Michael T. Brown didn't give very many details, fans are trying to fill in the blanks. Although the memorial from the National Guard was a public matter, Michael T. spoke about a private funeral happening after attending that event. We have no idea about the funeral, it was none of her kids at the National Guard's memorial about a month later, which I also agree she probably wasn't okay with, but it sounds like the incident was before then, more in the thick of it and the actual funeral. If the entire family is not talking about it and never will, then Michael T. should not even commented on it. All that her comment does it drive speculation. This is why Robin and Michael T. got along so well, they both need to be the center of attention at all times. So, Michael T. finally saw what everyone else sees. Late to the show. Sister Wife Season 19 will air on September 15, 2024, on TLC and then later on Max. What do you think about Michael T. Brown saying that something bad transpired at Garrison Brown's funeral? What do you think happened? Are you ready to see Sister Wives Season 19? Drop your comments below. And that's a wrap on today's video. What do you think about Garrison's statement? Do you think Cody will be able to fix things with his son, or is the damage done? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love hearing what you guys think. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates on Sister Wives and your favorite reality TV families. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Boo Cell Cody. Thank you for watching.